Well, Kickstart Multisectoral Tendering Programme came about a few years ago as a result of the recession. We find that a number of companies were contacting council asking for support in terms of tendering. So we devised a new programme as a pilot programme, the first programme to be developed in Northern Ireland to support the four business, four business sectors worst affected by the downturn, construction, engineering, manufacturing and business services. You're, you're an average small company um, fighting for a tender that 50 other companies were fighting for and you weren't winning them and you were maybe just going out there and working for whatever work you could get. We do most of our work in, in Belfast but uh, I wanted to get more involved with local uh, side of things so it was good to get involved with uh, Cookstown Council and keep our, name, keep our name live with them. We've been used tendering for work with contractors but this was much different. Uh, you were tendering for work with the you had to have your balance sheets, accounts, pay, you know, you had to have health and safety. We knew that we could do what the huge companies were looking for, it was just getting through the door. We knew we could come out here and do the big projects. Initially we appointed uh, delivery agents for the programme, Global Education Limited, and they came on board and then we sought to advertise to recruit participant companies. And we, uh, after a few, after two years of the programme, we're working with 80 local companies. In 2010 we were approached by our local council, Cookstown District Council, to take part in their multi-sectoral tendering programme, which we accepted. Um, it was a very small commitment to ourselves with regards to time and it was a small cost. Well, that was very simple, it was in the local paper in the Nostra Mail and we made contact with the Cookstown Council and from there they were very, very helpful and uh, we signed up. We sent out our consultants then to work with the local businesses and that started off by doing an audit with each company to identify the needs of each business in terms of tendering and that was followed up then by three full days of support spread over the course of a year to assist the business um, develop what they had requested at the outset of the programme. We met with the consultant once a week on a one-to-one -one basis. They carried out an audit um, of our company and then each week they were able to tailor each session towards our company and our own specific needs. This programme allowed us to be presented to FCC Construction Partnership who were responsible for the construction of the new South West Acute Hospital in Enniskillen. We tendered for the supply, installation and maintenance of their mains fed water cooler systems and we were delighted to be successful. We were able to secure and maintain existing employment within the company. Um, our sales figures were boosted for that particular year and because the contract then resulted in us being awarded the maintenance of the water coolers, which is an ongoing contract, it also has secured employment and sales for further years to come. Dave, the consultant, come along, worked with our team here, and he was excellent. And helping us how to really go about tender is a lot more to it than me say. You know, putting us, you know, to streamline the work because you could be pricing and pricing and not getting the work. So you put us on the right track to price what you would be getting. We spent £100, that's the outlay, and it is, well, first of all, last year 400000 and we're hoping to push that up to £10 million. So that's a good investment, isn't it, £100? We got involved with Janice and Gel just to make sure that our documentation systems were uh, up to scratch, um, such as health and safety and our ISO standards. So Janice uh, helped us out by uh, evaluating what we had done to date and give us a lot of uh, advice on where we can go forward. John has given us contacts with uh, co a clients such as H&J Martin and FCC and uh, tendering opportunities, uh, especially uh, what's available online. It's helped us to win co contracts um, in the value of two, two million pounds of, of revenue and um, it's left us in a, a far better place now that the systems are in place uh, looking for opportunities going forward. FCC were the main contractor and went in the hospital here in Enniskillen and the council had given us a list of opportunities that maybe they would suit us and FCC seemed perfect because we knew the area and uh, we knew a little bit about FCC at that stage and knew that they would be a good company to work for. The company won the tender on the entire fencing project and it's, it's a faster range of fencing, it's not just one item. Um, employment status, we were able to take on 10 more, both here in Fermanagh and in Cookstown area. This was our first public tender to be won, 
And since then we've moved on to win other tenders. Our most recent was 275,000. We're going the right road. Well, we set very ambitious targets at the beginning of the programme and I suppose three of the most notable ones were the value of tenders won. Uh, between the 80 companies, they won £12.5 million worth of new work between them. An astounding result really for a programme of this size. Um, in terms of jobs, uh, we created 43 new jobs and we sustained 965 jobs between the participating companies. And finally, um, 56 of the companies gained pre-qualifications uh, standards as a result of the programme. They're a great idea for any company, large or small, and it's very um, plausible for any companies who maybe need that push to break into a larger or into a new market. Local companies would, should be right on this right away, get onto Cookstown Castle, and uh, it's well worthwhile, it's a low cost. We would recommend anybody to go for the multi-sectoral tendering programme for a small investment, uh, you get a lot out of it. I think the results of the programme speak for itself and we will encourage others to participate in the new programme that we're about to launch in the next few weeks.